I'm Juanita from Nearby Artisans, and I'm going to show you how to bring your pattern pieces for small patterns for dolls, um, pets, um, ch babies and ch small children's clothes, and bring them into Silhouette software, and how to use cut and print, or just cut, to cut out those small pieces, and to make your patterns a little sturdier. The first thing I'm going to do is take a piece of white computer paper, and I'm going to, to um, uh, with a pen and an acrylic ruler, I'm going to mark out a one inch by one inch square on, the, on a piece of white computer paper. Then I'm going to take my pattern piece, I'm going to rough cut around it, I'm going to iron it, and I'm going to iron it really smooth, as smooth as I can. Now, I did get a couple of little um, wrinkles in here, but you, you really want to iron this as smooth as you can. I then am going to take a piece of clear plastic, either shelf liner or vinyl, and I'm going to cut a piece that will fit around this pattern piece, and I'm going to smooth it over the top of this tissue pattern. And I'm going to start down below or start in a corner and I'm just going to really pull the, the uh, vinyl or the plastic and I'm going to lay it down over the top of this pattern piece, smoothing it as I go, trying to get it as straight and smooth as possible. Once you put that um, plastic down, you're, it's not coming off. So you want to get it really nice the first time. Then I'm going to scan it in. And it is so easy to scan something into the Silhouette software. You just put the pattern piece down on your flatbed scanner, you hit Start Scan, and it's just going to scan in. And um, it only takes a minute for that to scan in. And then what you get is you'll get the, the square from the white. Oh, and I put the computer paper behind the... Um, the, the piece here that I've cut out. I cut this out with scissors once I, uh, this one, you don't have to because you can wait and cut it out with your with your silhouette, but I cut, cut it out with scissors uh, in pre preparing it for the silhouette software. And right here is what you'll see um, that I had on the scanner. It only takes a minute to scan in. And This is what I get. This has the white computer paper behind it. It also makes this a little bit more bold. And here's my one inch square. So I'm going to hit done. And it's going to pull that in. And because I have mine somehow upside down, I'm going to go ahead and rotate that 180 degrees. Oops, wrong one. I'm going to, oops. I'm going to rotate this one. 180 degrees and I'm going to double check my one inch I made the one inch square over here um, I just made a square and then went into my sizing tool and sized it one inch by one inch and I'm just going to make sure uh, by bringing that to the front that that's going to bring it all the way to the front that that's going to be Send this to the back. Pretty much exact. Now, take into consideration that I've made this with an acrylic ruler and a pen, and they do uh, change the size a tiny bit. This one was made exactly for this grid and with a tool that it, where it was told one by one. Um, and I could go ahead and adjust this. I could pull it out a little bit. And I could and I could magnify this and I could go in and make sure because if this is one by one, then I'm sure that this is the right size. Pull that over there. The next thing I will do is I will go to my trace area, and I've already done this with this one. I will se um, select this area to trace, and then I will trace and detach. I will get rid of the white paper behind it. The white thing behind it will pull, pull away, 
and I'll be left with this, and then I will join that. I will combine that uh, by group or make compound path or, or whatever you need to do to get this to be joined back together. And, and I'm just going to delete that because I already did that with this. I got turned around. Um, and what I did next is I didn't want to, I could do the trace outer edge, but I like to trace this myself to make sure that I'm getting all my edges that are perfectly, because that pattern, I'm going, not going to use this to cut out a pattern. I'm going to print and cut this. So what I would do is I'm going to magnify it, and I might even magnify it a little more when I'm doing it. And I'm going to get my, my tool here and my editing tool, and I'm going to click on the outside edges here. And I'm just going to roughly do it because I'm going to clean that up quite a bit. by using my Bezier curves. Now I could take my time and I could do it really perfectly right now, but I just want you to see uh, not only that, um, this editing, but how you use these Bezier's. These are wonderful tools. I'm just going to make that top part flat and then um, these are great to use because they just give you such a nice curve. I use this a lot in um, other software programs that I have too. It's a great, I'm just going to make that one flat and then pull this in. You can see how that just brings in perfectly. Now for this line here, even though that's supposed to be flat, you lay this on the fold. I've never found it to be flat. So I'm just going to go ahead and match it to um, what I have there so that it will um, so that my eyes will see that it's the same. Okay, now I'm going to use this one. I guess this one over here. Bring that in to where this isn't going to be flat because it's the hem and there's always a curve to, to a hem. So um, that one would be flat. This will go up a little more. And, and that one I'll just make flat. Move it out a little bit. Pull that in, get a nice curve there for the armholes. Um, pull this out. Another thing that this is really nice for is if you get one of those patterns that has several different sizes, like um, maybe you're doing this for a pet and it has small, medium, and large dog, you can pull this in and you just do the outline of the size that you want. So if you wanted just the medium, you don't have to cut the medium out and waste the large and the small. You can just cut out the medium. And um, I do this for as large of patterns as I can fit on my um, mat, 12 by 24. If it'll fit on a 12 by 24, this is how I do it. So um, now I have my, my pattern all outlined. Now I already did it on there, so I'm just going to delete this. But you can see how nice that looks. See how nice that's going to cut out? just going to kind of cut out perfectly. After I have my outline done, I'm going to go in and I'm going to um, pick this tool here and I would create my, and I would magnify this. I'm going to create my triangles and I'm going to do it to all of these because that way I know that I just put a little slit there. And another thing when I'm making this, I go ahead also, besides the square, I measure between this point and this point on my uh, original pattern. And then when I'm in here, I make sure that that point right there is the same distance as my pattern piece to make sure I get this uh, as accurate as possible. So now I have um, put my edging here and my um, slit points there. And now I could take and I could do a print and cut to make a, a new pattern and I can I can store my original patterns. 
And like I said, if you're doing something that has multiple sizes, this is great because you're not going to waste that whole size. Another thing that I could do, if I were now ready to cut this out of fabric, and I would prepare my fabric, I would starch it. I would. You can also put, if you're using the shelf vinyl, you can also put shelf vinyl on fabric, and then after it cuts, you can peel that right off. So um, um, another thing about this pattern, these pattern pieces, before you cut, any of these pieces, you uh, from your um, you might want to take a piece of your your pattern um, paper there and put put uh, the plastic over it and see what you use to cut. But I'm not going to cut my pattern out this way. This is this is something I'm going to print out on regular white computer paper. I just after I scan this in, I store my original pattern with that plastic over it. I just leave it over it and I just store it. I store it in the clear um, sleeves in a notebook. So now and now this I will print out on the printer. When I'm cutting this out from fabric, I like I said will put the plastic on it sometimes or sometimes I just starch it. But I kind of do a test to see how it's going to cut. If I wanted to cut this all at once and not cut out um, this on the fold, what I can do here is I can replicate it, mirror right, and pull it into these lines till these lines turn into one, and then I would join this by grouping, or I would go ahead and do an outline of the entire thing. And when I come to these, what I would do is, what I do is just put a little slit, and I, I'm going to magnify it, and I'm just going to put a little slit from the point to the center. And that way I'll have my little slit to know, because these are uh, placement for um, the, the sides, for the arm sleeves, uh, the sleeves, the inset sleeves that you put in. And I would just make sure I had my little line there to um, that it would make a little slit. Another thing you can do is, uh, and, and th this is just so great for multiple um, sizes, but another thing is if I wanted this dress to be a top instead of a dress, I could get myself a nice bodice here by just taking the knife tool finding how long I would want the bodice. Say I wanted it for a, a, a fuller dress. I can take my knife tool right here, cut across, and now I have a nice bodice. And I could also, using this, I could create some little flowers or some something to go across the border here. And I know exactly the size that it needs to be. And I could even, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, replicate that and mirror right, pull it in till the line is just touching. And now I could, I could get my placement. I can know exactly what size I want to put something along here. Or if I wanted something along the collar, I could make it, I could group it, put it to the side. And then after I get this all cut out, then I could go ahead and cut out from my vinyl or from um, applique fabric my um, design. Another thing is if I wanted to lengthen, um, if I wanted to lengthen this, I could go ahead and cut off the hem, pull it down. Now I want to keep it on the line, so I want to keep it nice and smooth on the fold, and then I would get my angle figure out what angle I need to have here. Okay, so that's the angle that it's coming out at. I would move this angle down, and then I could pull this out to where it matches that angle, and then know that, and then go ahead and just put lines here, cut lines. I would just go ahead and put cut lines like this, like here and here and then just join them, and that way it would cut all the way down. And you would want to go in and join the lines. Um, and um, but if you're this far, if you're looking at this video, you're more intermediate, advanced, and you know how to do that, to go ahead and join these to get a, nice, uh, a nicer line. And that's what I did with this one. As you can see, I created a, uh, a nice straight line with this. 
you can also go in and you could again, if you didn't want to uh, create the line like that, you could go in and get your, um, go ahead and retrace this with your tool up there. So that's just some of the neat things you could do with your pattern pieces. And, you know, you could get a good bodice here. Oh, another thing is if I wanted to um, make this, uh, say, I, say if I wanted this bodice to have a whole different skirt, I could take and <clears throat> cut out a square, uh, um, a long piece of fabric, and then I could gather this, and then I could just join it up here and have it be a fuller skirt <clears throat> instead of just the long straight skirt. Um, so there's a lot of neat things you could do with creating your own pattern pieces in your Silhouette software, and I hope you try them. I hope you try a lot of the things in my videos and have fun with them. And this has just been a great tool for me, especially with the small doll clothes, the small um, pet, pet uh, outfits. I hate cutting out the tiny pieces of fabric and the tiny um, patterns. And this saves my patterns, too. So I hope you have fun. 